What's up, YouTube? ODST General back again, and today, guys, we have another demo for you guys. Uh, this one is another one that I found during the Steam Next Fest. Again, I don't know if this was part of Next Fest itself, uh, but this is Car Manufacturer, um, and I haven't played this one at all, but we're going to check it out. It seems like kind of an interesting concept, another kind of like business tycoon type of game where your whole thing is basically building up car manufacturing plant and going from there. Um... So yeah, basically says, hey, the game's still under development, there's going to be bugs and stuff, of course, to be anticipated. Uh, we're going to turn down the music, and I turned down the sound effects just a little bit. Um, already, I just literally finished recording the uh, Riot Simulator, Riot Control Simulator demo. So <laughs> coming into this one, if you guys have seen that video... One of the first things I complained about was the ability or lack of ability to mute the music separately from the rest of the sound effects, and that is in here, which is nice. Uh, the Indianapolis 501 competition is fierce, but there might be a way to get ahead. The Indianapolis 501 race is coming. As long as you manage your resources and brand image carefully, you'll be able to put together a winning team with a perfect racing car. Uh, so, yeah, this is a scenario it's not like a free mode and we get to choose our starting city but by default it is detroit for this and there's a number of different logos we can select from hello i'm henry your personal system here to help you produce and sell your first car let's get going time to the camera so we've got this and that okay and then mill mouse button kind of lets us tilt up and down but it's Seems to be pretty limited. Okay. This is the editor mode here. You can create buildings as well as purchase the necessary equipment. Each item and tool is organized by categories. And it's going to spill this building right here. Of course, we need a door. Uh, for the door, we'll have the door on the, the side of the building here. Uh, so you can move freely and resize any building and zone in the game. Click on the building and choose move option to move. Uh, click on its edge and drag to resize. To rotate, hold and drag the left mouse button or press the NX keys. Um, I'm not really clear on how I'm supposed to do that, though. So this seems to be the resizing. And that seems to be moving. So this is nice that you can actually move the buildings after it's been built. So we've got our first production stuff that we're putting in place. So we had a assembly station and we need a gate for getting the vehicles out. Can we move this? So it told us where to, to move it, but so let's put this up over here and then the vehicles will Presumably we'll need like a second gate or something that's like right here. And you know, whatever we have, we'll like drive in through here, get assembled and then drive out. So I'm not sure quite how the assembly stations work, like what degree of like the uh, the frame and chassis and stuff are gonna get assembled or how that exactly is going to work. Um, connect an assembly station to a gate so that cars can be driven outside. Later, you'll be able to connect many assembly stations together to create assembly lines. So, this is where we want this to go. Now we've got storage. Okay, so we got that there. Uh, I think the smarter thing would have been to put the other door over here. And then have the cars just drive out this side, and that way it's straight across and it's easier to access the stuff. But I think that's fine for right now. And then, yeah, there's different blueprints and parts and stuff that are going to need to be put together to make each individual kind of vehicle. Uh, click on assembly station in the factory mode to set the car model it produces. 
Uh, car production is divided into phases. Each phase requires one or more car parts. Uh, car parts are automatically ordered to connected storages. Uh, click on the storage to manage orders. So we can do that here. So we need to go in here and change our blueprint. So by default is the Jacques number three, it appears to be. It's uh, light and reliable, so a very early model uh, car, almost more of a, uh, a carriage than a car. So we've got that, and then we've got all of the parts required for it. So it looks like we're gonna have to go over here and order our parts. Ports are or ports. Parts are organized by car models. Each car you produce requires one or more part of the list of parts. Uh, you can see how many in the usage column. And yeah, you can always change how many parts you want to store at any given time. Change the number in the request. As long as you have free storage space. So we need to hire workers. Uh, you can see the potential employees for hire uh, in the tab. Every worker has stats, strength, agility, intelligence, and charisma. Influence how effective the worker will be at his job by workers and are in general more expensive. Workers are paid weekly. You can see current employees for the workers tab. Um, so we've got for hire. And yeah, you can see a variety of prices. More people are becoming available. And like they said, the most uh, productive or the best employees are the best. So we've got strength, agility, intelligence, and charisma. We don't really have anybody who's good at charisma. I don't know what the benefits of charisma are. This guy and this guy seem to have the same stats, but that's pretty good. Um, otherwise, we can go a little bit less and get a little bit more strength. I feel like having the extra charisma is nice, though. So either uh, David Smith or Bob Jones here is probably going to be our first one. I don't know how much it's really going to matter in terms of the demo, how difficult it's going to be to potentially spend all of our money that we have. Looks like we've got uh, $5,000 to work with here. Um... A little bit of a decent spread on David Ford, so we'll get David Ford. And uh, Mr. David Jones. And we need one more person. So we can kind of get a little bit of a variety in terms of, like, spread of employee skills and stuff like that. So we've got our workers. We also need some mechanics, so we'll build our car. Select mechanics and click the mechanic button, hire three mechanics. Um, okay, so I guess the workers literally just bring the parts over here to the assembly line. The mechanics are the ones who are actually putting the car together. Uh, so we've got four hire. So we've got three for hire. Got Kevin Miller, James Smith, uh, James Johnson, and James Ford. All right, these guys are generally a little bit more expensive than the workers, which is fine. Uh, we don't... I don't know what skills is really going to benefit us the most for mechanics i feel like strength probably would be whereas agility might be what you want to see in the workers more so and then like strength or uh intelligence for the mechanics potentially so that was the three to three uh now our employees are hard at work if things ever get too fast you can pause and fast forward so yeah, you can see i'm loading there's a like a train steam engine over here which is pretty neat uh, we need to get back into the editor mode. We need to get parking for our vehicles. So we've got another building. We've got a Roman building that we're going to build. Oh, that was uh, too small. There we go. Let's put that there, make it a little bit more efficient for these guys to get in and out from over here. So they basically just come here instead of having like Waste time coming around the front to go on through the uh, the gate. And then actually here. Let's get rid of that. So this is our sales building, it looks like. So we got our sales desk, and then we're going to need a place to actually sell the cars and everything. Uh, go to the sales screen for detailed options. Uh, clients will not come to your factory looking to buy a car. Clients usually have a specific model in mind, but a talented salesman can convince them to buy a similar model. 
Uh, there's always a chance that a sale will fail. Promote your cars or lower the prices to sell more. So that makes sense. Um, can't build any of the rest of that stuff yet. So we need to go in here. Uh, sales screen. So this is actually, this seems really complicated, which is actually a good thing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff they have to manage, and I think there's a lot of things that are going to keep players busy. If you want to stop selling a product, deselect the offer in the, or deselect the in offer checkbox. Uh, that's worded kind of uh, oddly, but okay. Uh, when you first start producing a car, it's automatically added to offer. You can see all the products that can be sold. So I guess for some reason, if you wanted to either build up your stock or you're just looking to focus on other cars and try to get other cars off your lot, maybe say you're working on new production models and you want to get rid of your older stuff first, you can take your stuff off of offer. Um, so we got to go to uh, play mode. And it looks like we've got our first car going off the line right now here. So it's, uh, it's perfect timing. So we need to get a salesman. Uh, so as far as salesmen go, I think the obvious thing we want to find is charisma in the salesman. And intelligence seems like it would be kind of beneficial too. So this guy right here, Mark Smith, seems like our go-to guy for being a salesman. And then I'm guessing if uh, when we get to researchers, you definitely want the intelligence and the researchers. So... I don't know if there's a lot of crossover for the skills because there's four professions, which is the worker, the mechanic, the uh, the salesman, and the researchers. And there's four stats which seem to very much correspond to what you would expect those stats to correspond to in terms of those professions. Uh, so we finished the tutorial. That's all for now. So tech trees. So technology allows you to improve your manufacturer in many ways. Uh, click on available tech to start researching. You can pause tech research anytime and only pay once. So unlock research departments, unlock advertisement, and unlock production line. So we've got a few different people. I feel like in this case, we're going to go a little bit cheaper on the researcher. And then we've got a few different buildings here again. Where do we go for this? I guess that's the, the question we've got. Different departments, we need research. We can't actually do anything with research yet, but that'll, I, presumably, I guess that'll be our research building. Um, so Z and X to rotate. I think we can do this. Make sure we have enough parking spots. I don't know that we're gonna necessarily need all of this parking, but that seems like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know, the, like, these are listed as decorations for, like, the different kinds of tanks. I don't know if these actually will do anything or not. Um, there's, like, toilets and stuff. I mean, it definitely makes sense to have that stuff in there. I think what our smart move here is... Yeah, I should have had this a little bit closer, because the thing is, is it does look like, in terms of the mechanics, there is benefit to have the mechanics have... Her, a higher agility because they do have to transport the stuff over here. It doesn't look like the mechanics just sit out here while the workers bring stuff in from the train and then bring it from the train over here. So there is a benefit to having higher agility for your mechanics and, you know, a shorter uh, line here. So I can't, I can't link multiple cars onto the same line, which is unfortunate, but not really too much of a surprise. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so in theory, I guess you'd, you'd want like multiple doors and stuff like that. And then making sure that your, your stuff is basically going and getting transported as feasibly as possible based off this train. So I think what our, our most efficient thing here would be is once this car is done, we're going to pause this once this car is out of here. And then we're going to delete this line and redo it. I don't know how to do the research is the issue. I don't know if I can even do the research. And we've got this mechanic shelf, progress and demo to unlock. 
they're actually what's neat is that they do actually bring the parts that they need for that specific stage of the car so it's not just like they're grand in just random boxes they're grabbing each unique part to the car and actually assembling the car which is actually really awesome um again so yeah with your mechanics having strength for the mechanics is important because i think they're the ones assembling i think the strength and the agility just is kind of what's important to the um to both the mechanics and to the workers because they're both having to haul in large items and then move as fast as possible so definitely seems like both of those traits are important to both of these guys um, with strength maybe being a little bit more important to the mechanics because they're that ones actually assembling the car so we're going to wait for this car to get off the line. I don't know if they'll start another car immediately until this thing's out of line or not. <laughs> Looks like they in fact will. Oh. Yeah, I was hoping to I was hoping to wait on that, but that's fine. Can we go in here? I don't know how to get rid of this line though, is the issue. That's a, that's really the only issue I've run into so far with this is that the lines seem to be kind of difficult to actually remove once they're in. Um, what I'd like to do, maybe if we delete this, yeah, there we go. We'll delete that. Move that over. So, I mean, we, we seem to be keeping up more than well enough with just the one assembly line. I don't know how well we're going to keep up with two, but let's try two. Uh, we do, I actually forgot, though, because I need to reconnect these. Because they're grabbing supplies, but they're not actually assembling cars because the stuff's not hooked up. Our employees seem to be kind of maybe freaking out a little bit. It's kind of weird is that there's a research tier, it looks like, for the vehicle for car blueprints, and then there's a separate research for just generalized research. You'd think all the research would be under, like, one tier, and that car blueprints would just be included with that. I guess the, the cars themselves are maybe a little bit bigger of the focus, so that's why they've put it separately, but, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know why they're not assembling stuff, though. Uh, there's a new power in town. A new manufacturer is making waves. Ferry Motor Company is a turbo focused on fast and cheap production. We need to keep improving our production facilities, keep up with them. Uh, so we can send them a flower bouquet, ignore them, or send them a flower bouquet with a passive address in them. You know what? We'll, we'll be nice to them here. Maybe, maybe we'll end up merging one day. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's necessary potentially to connect these two, and it's supposed to be designed to do that, but I don't know why our people are not working here. Unless. No, I, yeah, I don't know. There's a market over here, which is the train. They're not producing. I don't know why they're not producing. So it's an offer, product details, promotions. We don't have any promotions right now. Um, hmm. I broke it, guys. I really did break it, and I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, I'm trying to produce the cars, guys. I don't know what to do. I think we have to set the station. I bet it's because we deleted it and the station's not set anymore. But I don't know how to set the station to dictate what it does. It's exactly what it was. Fortunately, all our stuff there just disappeared. And then we can actually dictate the uh, the colors and stuff like that. So we can make like one blue. So these, because these are connected, it's connecting them with the same color, but 
Okay. So yeah, they make one set of stuff at one station and another set of stuff at a different station. I'm not really sure what the benefit to that would be. I guess if you have a much bigger factory, you have your supplies split up between a couple different areas. Um, and you have smaller sections of supplies that are closer, maybe. I, I don't know. Um, that way the cars are always moving. They don't have to wait quite as long to start building the next parts of the car, I guess would be the benefit there. Is they, they can start working on the next car a little bit sooner by moving some of the production up to the next station and having it basically connected in multiple areas. That's where the benefit lies to that, I suppose. So we've got this. Let's go ahead and let's expand this out. And we've got that going up there. Uh, there's a new power in town. Generic Motors has now entered in. Have a friendly talk. Ignore them or try to sue them. It's the most high-tech manufacturer out there. So yeah, we need to kind of deal with them by researching stuff. So we can start a new project here. So this, I guess, activating this will start research on a new blueprint for us. And our researchers are going to work on that. Um, so we can also work on advertisement one, which we need to do. So let's go here to marketing and let's click on that. And if we can, what I want to do is set up a, another research line now. Uh, promotions, as long as the product is on a sales lot, you can always choose in which way you wish to promote it. Each promotion has a weekly cost but increases the chance of a client wanting the product. So we'll want to get into that here in just a moment. But first, so this one we're going to do, obviously the same car, but we're going to do a different color. So we'll do it in a black because we've got the blue on the other line here. But actually, that one seems to be black too. We do red. This is showing a red symbol here. I don't know what's going on there. They are bringing supplies over here. Place promotion slots and current promotion slots. So I think if we go back here, this is the promotion slot. Perfect. Okay. So really, you should just have this basically set for the whole floor. There's no reason to not have this set for the entire room. I guess, they, yeah, once they're finished, the trim definitely is blue on those. I think red will look a little bit better once we start getting, like, a red car produced, I think, is the uh, the final production model for that. Though I'm normally more of a fan of blue myself. Um, okay, so we need the promotions vehicle, which we're going to put here. It's the spinning display model, of course. You know, anybody who's seen a modern car place will probably have seen something like this. So we can promote a car. We've got the, the option of flyers, newspaper ads, posters, billboards, radio ads, and uh, blimp, each with its own cost. We'll start off basic. We'll just start with a flyer. So there's a new paper or new power in town, which is the Walter Court. Um, again, we'll be friendly with them. We're going to be friendly with everybody. If we need to, we'll take them down. We'll destroy them. But otherwise, you know, there's no reason not to be friendly with them. And we'll probably need more mechanics here, it looks like. We do have this stations a little bit closer, so we don't need to worry so much about having our mechanics be super agile now because the stations are closer. So still definitely with these guys, strength and agility is going to be a big factor for them because of how far they need to travel. And look at this guy. Holy cow, who, who are you? I wish I could click on you to see. You're freaking cruising with that barrel. The other guy's not even like halfway there yet, and you've already dropped it off and you're heading back. All right, so we've got our red models of the car going out now. No, uh, no manufacturing really going on with the, the other models, and there's something going on here, and it's preventing it from being built, I think is what it is. I did hire some extra mechanics, though, just in case. That's where the issue lies is the lack of mechanics. But I feel like there's something else going on here. Yeah, I'm actually, I really like this game so far. I mean, I, there's a lot of things I don't understand about it still, I feel like, and they just haven't really gotten into, but... 
yeah, it's pretty neat. So they've uh, they've currently designed a car here that we can go. So this will be our new model of vehicle here, the Type T Classic. So we're going to uh, research that. Sold one car, we've produced three. Okay, so this is actually moving along. So I guess it was just an issue of a lack of mechanics to to work on it. Or a lack of supplies, maybe. Um, the only thing I would not mind having is the ability to research, set certain employees to certain lines. So that way you could have more efficient production. Maybe set your better employees to your newest model of car. Um, versus maybe some of your less good employees to an older model that you're still producing because people still want to buy it, but you're not necessarily trying to promote or push as much. Um, or maybe you're in the process, of, again, of phasing out. Because I do feel like that's going to be a big aspect of this is phasing out the vehicles and stuff like that. Um, so we only actually hired a couple more mechanics, so we actually need to hire even more. And it looks like we don't really have much choice. There's only three up for hire right now, so we'll hire them. And uh, let's hire on a couple more. We are getting stuff carried over, though. Yeah, it's really cool, actually, like watching them carry the seats and the, the wheels and stuff over to the cars and getting the manufacturing and seeing the cars at, like, different stages in development. Because we have, you know, basically the same model of car here, but different colors and there's little bits of different parts and stuff on here. The, like, this one doesn't have a seat yet, but this one does have the seat. This one's a little bit more complete. They just got the wheels on. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, we've already got the second car going up here, and they haven't they haven't progressed this uh, black automobile anymore. So not sure what's going on with it. It it's got to be a supply shortage, right? I don't know. Maybe they just can't fit all the supplies they need on here. So, request zero. We've got in storage. So it looks like it's it's probably just that's a storage shortage, because we have none of these in storage, and we need another seat. We need the wheels and stuff like that. Um, Okay, so maybe what we can do, I don't know if I, I don't think I'll be able to do what I want to do, but let's try this. Yeah, we kind of need to be able to just like bring that up here. Uh, let's see if we can do it this way. See, the problem is I don't know how to unhook a uh, an area either. Let's get rid of this. That doesn't seem to work the way I was hoping it would. That's not going to give me enough room either. Hmm. So we have these storage shelves, which are different too. I don't know what the benefit of the storage shelves are. Let's put a couple of these on. And... Okay, so that's how we delete that. So this is definitely not the most efficient way this could have been laid out, but this is kind of what we're going with now. I'd prefer to basically have like everything kind of going like one single direction instead of like curving around like this does and basically have one of these for each of these production lines. I'd uh, I'd completely rebuild this from the ground up if I were starting again for the sake of efficiency. Uh, what do we got? So we got to sell more cars. We still got to produce more vehicles. We are producing them kind of slowly because we have the second line, but they weren't fixing the, or finalizing the cars because we didn't have the parts going to this particular station. But we've got that set now. The parts are finally going to the station to get everything finished up. So we've got a few vehicles already queued up. We've actually got four in the line waiting to go and get completed at this station, if you include the one they're working on right now. Um, so these should start rolling off pretty fast. The other ones are, you know, going pretty steady in the first place. Uh, 
We've got to, well, we don't have much we have to do right now, but let's go ahead and uh, let's look into production. So we have multiple production lines. So this one allows us to connect up to four workstations, and this one increases the speed of the conveyor belts. The conveyor belts definitely seems like it would be super useful. Um, and work on a single station by one, modeling stations. So that generates research points, which seems handy. Uh, I've run out of money. Consider taking a loan. Oh, yeah, we're negative money. Okay. So it's uh, $200, 60 Let's take the, the biggest loan that seems like, I mean, it's the most money to pay back per week. But I feel like it's better than taking out the $2,000 loan. And then, as far as this goes, we have, uh, yeah, the cars are going to start probably rolling off a little bit quicker now, so let's go ahead and, tr well, I don't know if we want to hire another salesman quite yet or not. A little, I'm tempted to, but I'm kind of hesitant to do so at the same time. Reach any cars to... I see now I'm kind of confused what the car's demand is. Most popular ranking first. Is it just like how many cars were we have out at once? The well, guys are going a fair bit faster now and having the increased speed here should help a little bit once we get our faster conveyor belts up, so... That'll be nice. I guess we'll, we'll hold off. We'll have the second desk in here, but we'll hold off on hiring anybody. And that way, if we see people like lined up here, we'll keep a little bit better of an eye on this. So we should be able to produce a new model of car now. So if we come here onto this station, we can start doing the uh, the Model T. Now, I guess the other issue that you're going to potentially run into is because different cars take different parts, whereas I had parts going from here to here to finish these cars. Um, with the Model T using different parts, we can't necessarily route this one because the Model T will use unique uh, parts or whatever. They're separate from this, so these can't necessarily share. So ideally, you want one storage area to one line and not you know one storage area to multiple lines like I've got currently set up right now to to basically account for this being smaller. Thankfully, it seems that there is still some degree of, uh, I guess, shared parts between these two vehicles. That seems like a bug. That <laughs> shouldn't, uh, that shouldn't be sitting there floating like that. That should go on later. Yeah, so we're missing parts right now that are necessary for both of these workstations, but these guys are still bringing in stuff from the train, so it's going to take them a little bit to actually bring in all that stuff. We do have multiple people waiting right now. I don't know where a salesman is. We'll, uh, we'll give him a minute. Looks like he was over in the uh, place over here. Actually, it looks like he's using the uh, the toilet, so it seems that the toilet actually does have some form of effect. Again, though, I do wish there was a way to build, you know, walls inside the building. There's stairs. Yeah, there's no obvious form of building a wall. I guess, like, if you want to have a toilet, you basically just need a separate building that's, like, attached like this. 
Actually, that won't even work either. You just need a separate building altogether. Uh, let's go over here. Let's take a look at our salesman, see what he's got going on here. <clears throat> so, maybe we want... Well, yeah, we got a lot more people lining up, so let's go ahead. Let's get a second salesman. I don't know what this, like, our salesman's doing here. He's kind of, like, running all over the place and not really talking to anybody, so I'm not really sure what he's doing. He's actually going back to the toilets again. Maybe he's got the runs. I don't know. Wow, we're already at, like, an hour in on this. I really lost track of time playing this game. This is actually a lot of fun. I can't remember if this one's out now or not yet. I should check that real quick. So this one is not out yet. This one's being, this one's still in development. Yeah, this is actually a really solid game. Um, I've, it's actually been an absolute blast. Uh, it seems like I've kind of gotten most of the mechanics out so maybe there would be a little bit more room for some more mechanics and some more fine detail stuff like i said being able to sign specific workers to specific lines would be fantastic i'd really enjoy that um i i'm not really clear i guess on the car's demand how to reach the car's demand here if that's just the sales or if that's something else so we're selling all the cars so I don't know if it's just we're not producing them fast enough. The shelves continue to be empty too is another thing I noticed. So let's go ahead. Let's swap this out. So we're not using those shelves. So let's go ahead and make that extra storage space to get things going a little bit more smoothly. Uh, that seems to have cured the woes of us missing parts for that line right there. Yeah, we're making money a little bit better for a second there. It'd also be nice to be able to like click on the customers and like find out and like know what car they were looking for specifically. I don't know if there's a way to check that maybe in the game already. But that would be kind of cool. So we have the Type T Classic. Now we can start researching the Type T Standard. And then we've got modeling stations and creative cooperation. We'll go for a little bit longer, but I think we're going to be wrapping up in the next couple of minutes here. We'll see what happens. Increases the maximum time a client waits for a sale. Let's do that, because, yeah, we've got clients in there around waiting right now, and our salesmen, for whatever reason, aren't selling. I guess there isn't anything for the salesman to sell. Is the, kind of the issue, yeah, because as, uh, as soon as the car came off the uh, thing, he sold it. So it seems like it's the the time it's taking our guys to produce these cars is kind of the hold up. Actually, it looks like even our uh, our salesman's actually out helping build the car. He was he was just doing something on the car. I don't know if he was checking it or something else, but our other lines going way quicker. This stuff was lacking though. Hopefully, now that we've gotten. gotten uh this expanded here that's going to help a lot but it seems like maybe they're still lacking some stuff so let's go ahead and bring this out there we go all right so now now all these are finished and we can start rolling a little bit more efficiently here Yeah, we're just simply not producing fast enough to meet the demand of our customers. I mean, we got customers lined up waiting for cars, and we just don't have the cars to sell them at this point. So 
So yeah, we got people are getting up. They're they're getting sick of waiting. So we do have some people walking out. So it is really going to be a matter of just getting these cars out as fast as possible. So that needs to be where our research is focused is on production to get these lines sped up as much as possible. Um, I can't increase this to two. I don't know if I need to increase this first before I can increase this to two, but I guess we'll try researching this and then we'll see if we can go off to two after researching that. Maybe. I mean, money money's kind of an issue, so I don't want to keep like hiring people. But maybe hire another mechanic. Speed things up a little bit more, potentially. So I'm kind of curious if it's a worker or mechanics who are moving the cars out. This guy is running out to the trains. I'm assuming it looks like the workers are the ones who actually park the cars and everything. Our, yeah, our demand's gone up a little bit for the cars. I'm not sure if it's like a monthly thing, like a number of cars sold during the month is what needs to be. So like we need to sell five cars during the month or what, but it does seem to be kind of improved a little bit. So yeah, once the production line two is set, well, now we can get high-speed conveyor belts too, get them sped up even more. And then there isn't anything else in this line, it's just increasing more and more stations. Yeah, if I were to redo this from the ground up, I'd probably extend this building out more, have basically this whole building go from like here down to pretty much like at this gate. Have multiple doors and basically have like it be something like storage, uh, line with multiple stations out, and then you know, storage and online and so on and so forth. So basically like half this would just be like production, I guess. And you could you could do it multiple ways, I guess, if you want. Probably the most efficient way would actually be doing like long ways, like from here where your production starts and then going here, actually probably the other way around. Starting up here because the train's up here. Having you guys run to storage and then starting production that way. With various doors along the uh, the route. Well, there it goes. I think that's the, the first Model T off the lot, so that's that's neat. And we've already got another one rolling off the uh, assembly line right away, which is fantastic news. Um, so another car will be able to hopefully sell. More concerned with these ones right here, hoping we can get these things out a little bit quicker. Um, we also need to get a little bit more money. It's just, yeah, we're definitely spending more than what we're making, but we've got people lined up, so we just need to get the production sped up as much as possible. I think having the extra assembly lines, having the extra stations would be a little bit more useful too, because then we could have people kind of, you know, split up a little bit more, but, you know, what are you going to do yet? Yeah, right now there's a little bit of extra travel time for them to get across these assembly lines and get over here with the parts, but just... We didn't have enough room with the way I laid this out now. We got another uh, key rolling off. Another one of these sold. Oh, it's not sold yet. He just parked it, but now he's over here. Now that that's in the lot, the car he wants, the, uh, the salesman's going to go back in. So we really don't need two salesmen at this point. Oh, wait, actually, well, I guess we do, because we are producing. Now we've got the, the T's rolling out at the same time as the Jacques is.
That rolls up to the end of the line. All right, guys. Well, that's uh, that's going to be it for car manufacturer. And uh, there's probably will be end up maybe be more of this on the channel when this game releases. Um, I might even play more of the demo. I've had a blast with this, and there's definitely a lot of room for increasing efficiency and stuff like that. We haven't actually reached the end of the demo after an hour of gameplay time. Part of that's because we have quests, and I just don't really know what I'm doing. I don't know how to reach any car's demand. Uh, we've reached two, but we're selling more. We've sold more than two cars, but we're selling different kinds of cars, so I'm assuming we just need to reach that demand on a specific type of vehicle. So maybe if we were producing from both of these lines still the same kind of car... That would be useful, I think. That would be how we'd reach it, and then we'd start producing the other cars, I think, is where the issue lies. I don't, again, it would be nice to see, to be able to click on these people here and be like, hey, what, what vehicle are you here for? I don't think we can. Our promotion is uh, in the paper for the, um, you know, for the, uh, Jacques here. Stall chance penalty. Our demand's gone up over time. And we're still selling the, the teas, though. That's the the thing. So the type T standard's almost done. Kind of curious what comes after the type T. For how like how far into the the future as far as like car manufacturing does this actually go or will this go? Um, is this going to be something that it's always going to be like this? It's it's going to be basically the early you know 1900s to like 1940s or 50s, or will we see this reach into modern times? I'm very curious about that. I don't think I, I would be surprised if it did, just because like you'd probably want to evolve the surrounding buildings and stuff. Then if something like that were to happen, I don't really foresee them doing that. Um, but that would be kind of neat too to to have like upgrades like robotics and stuff over time and just kind of watch it evolve maybe um you know slightly less need for your your employees in certain areas and higher demand for employees in other areas at the same time for different kinds of employees and having to like shift those around and evolve that need yeah we got a pretty decent number of people waiting so the our demand's gone up to three. Where were we in? So this is the demand over time. So we're not at quite at four demand. I guess maybe it's just the demand is based off of the the advertisements we have running, potentially. So maybe if I have the newspaper ads running as well, that will increase our demand even further. Uh, I said I was going to finish recording that I started playing more. <laughs> wow, okay. All right, guys, for real, that's going to be it. Um, thank you for watching. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you all in the next one.